Hello, thank you for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the tarot, I'm going to use Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. There's the full box. And then if you want to see how that how um, they spell their name, there you go. Uh, there's a website here on the side, shifferbooks.com. Feel free to freeze frame and check that out if you were interested, of course. Supportive Oracle Cards, Spell Casting Oracle Cards by Flavia, Barbara, and Lizbeth. There are their full names if you want to search them out. On the back here are the websites. I see She Who Is Art usually sticks out to me. But that way if you want to freeze frame and check that out, feel free to. And as usual, I'm use I put my dice away. I got new dice, but I'm going to use this one again. It's um, Amazon. I put my dice away. I have other dice. I have like a 13-sided dice, and I got like a... Anyway, I'm using this one for the dice. Um, I used the D20 for the Major Arcana, which does omit the world and the fool, but I make it work. I use the D4 to choose the Minor Arcana suit, and I use the D12 to choose uh, which number card, which goes up to night, but still I make it work. All right, I think we're good with that. Um, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. And now, on to your reading. Hello, Aries. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Aries? So, when I was shuffling, the devil fell out upside down, which makes me think we might be releasing from the devil. Let's see how that goes. Or maybe dealing with the devil, that somebody's letting go, or somebody's getting out of your way. Let's keep that in mind as we keep, go for keep going forward. Yeah. Um, somebody's not going to be able to bother you anymore. Somebody's getting out of the way. Like, I know it fell out, but I put it back in the deck. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, the devil. But it was, I was like, eh, but it's upside down. Um, why are they going? Somebody who feels like they'll never let go. Somebody who feels like they will never let go is I ironically getting out of your way. Why is it ironic? Because you just never believed it was going to happen, and you believed if they ever did do so, they would leave a wasteland of damage behind them. Um... This changing so fast, ironically, is to your benefit. The Ten of Pentacles talks about stability, somebody, something holding on, something with a big structure, something that is there to stay the long haul. And then you got the Eight of Wands coming right in after it, which like a big change. A big change to this that I was not expecting is what I keep getting. Um, there's a lot of history with whatever this situation is. So if it's family, if it's love interest, if it's work especially if it's work for some reason. Um, it's kind of like I've been trying to like... Aries is usually strong with putting out there what they need to say. It just happens. At least in my opinion. Uh, Aries is also the one, in my opinion, maybe you can't apologize for the information, but you can maybe apologize for the delivery. You know what I mean? Kind of like what I told you was the truth. Maybe it wasn't the prettiest way to say it, but it still was the truth. So maybe the delivery wasn't the best, but it's still the truth. Um, this situation, I feel like I've been struggling to kind of like not, not incur damage for the way things are shared. <laughs> I feel like I've been struggling to like, because I feel like whatever this is, it does frustrate you. Which makes it harder to, like, not just, you know, with it. Because it does frustrate you. So I have to, like, step back and, like, pull it together and be like, I got to be careful how I say this. I got to say this the right way. Or at least a more positive way. I'm going to still tell the truth. That's how it is. But I got to make sure it doesn't double back and get me in the butt. Um... 
Ace of Pentacles and the um, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, something looked like it was never going to get out of the way. I never expected it to get out of the way. The Ace of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune is kind of like the Ace of Pentacles is in question. <clears throat> but it's just, it's kind of matching in or mirroring in or marrying in with that Ten of Pentacles, which is coins in this, but Earth is Earth. Um, I just didn't believe it was going to get out of my way. And I just feel like it's shocking to me that this is getting out of my way. There's some quick change that I was totally not seeing. And I had really reserved myself to like, this is how this is going to be. This is how this is going to go. This is what I have to deal with. That same energy, is it really, let's just, let me just, there we go. Page of Wands reversed, there's no action there. And then the High Priestess, which is the number two. Somebody's making decisions and they're, I don't know, something is failing for them. They're making a big change, a big change. And something is failing for them. They have to go a different direction. They might lose everything if they don't. They have to go a different direction. And ironically, I feel like it may be best to say this, that you don't really think this person likes you. How they really feel about you, I don't think I invest a lot of time and energy into that. But I'm not thinking they like me. I feel like if I was Aries, I'd be like, I don't think they like me. I don't see why they would because they always get bent out of shape when I say stuff. So um, I'm not expecting that they like me. But they're also very stressed. And they may not like the way you do things. And maybe maybe for the most part, they really, maybe they don't really like you like you. Like they don't want to hang out with you. But they do believe in you when it comes to integrity. You do handle things honestly, and you do do a good job with it. They may not be a fan of you, like, socially they wouldn't hang out with you, but they do know that you do an honest job and you do it the best you can. So they do feel like you have a high level of integrity, they just don't like how you use it. It might be one of those things. Which, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. How do you feel about that is how you feel about that, I guess. Um... I feel like there's like a mixed bag on that. Like, well, I mean, I feel like it's a mixed bag on that, like how I feel about it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're coming forward and they're offering you this solution. They're stressed. There's a lot of stress with this person and they seem to be, they might be leaving the situation. Keep that in mind, they might be. So they need to find somebody to trust to take this over. Somebody, in, you have integrity. If the situation has a chance to thrive without them, the person with integrity is the one who's going to make it thrive. And you're the one with integrity. Um, it goes well for a while. It goes well for a while. But I do feel, I don't know, okay, I'm just going to go with it because this is how it's coming in. Whatever this person was, whatever they did what they did, I just, I keep feeling like I didn't really care for how they did it. I feel like they don't care for how you do things, but you didn't really care for how they did things either. If you want this to be the most optimal outcome, the most optimal, when this, when things change and you're more in their control seat, because it feels like you will, don't walk away from what the other person did. This, I, this how it's coming through. They're saying incorporate it where it's realistic. Because you didn't like the way they did it. They're not going to like the way you're doing it. But there's a very good middle ground here. There's some things that they did that should stay. There's some things that they did that should not. Mediating it out and figuring it out may not be something you initially want to do. But they're saying the advice is to not just walk away from everything and just revamp it. The advice is to like talk with other people and try to get more in depth about how things worked and how it affected other people and how maybe they liked it or what they didn't like. Things will definitely have to change, but I feel like whatever it is, 
probably, there's a good amount of it you're going to hold on to. At the most, at the most you're going to hold on to is 50% of it. At the least, at least 20% you should be holding on to for whatever that means. If you're able to do that, things go a lot better. This situation can flourish a lot better. Um, the healer comes in, very good energy comes in, a very positive energy comes in. I know there's more, more I gotta say there, but I'm kind of tripping on the more, more, more energy. The Four of Swords is a healing card that's coming in. I feel like the healer's there. And the death card is telling me, even though that last situation is gone, whoever that was doing what they were doing, it's kind of like trying to hold on to what did work, but like researching it a little deeper to see like, did it really work or did it really not? And finding out why yes or why no. Not like trying to, f not trying to look at it like, well, that obviously wasn't right and let me prove it. Not like that. Kind of like, all right, this seemed to go on for a while. What benefit came out of it? All right, this went on for a while, and then going, what benefit was lacking here? That type of thing. You're meant to move this situation forward. You're meant to move it forward to the next level. It seems very important, but you're. it's kind of precarious because it's kind of like if you just go along with your natural energy, I feel like it's you're, you're going to have this moment of lack because it's kind of like going through the changes for a while, it's going to seem like it's better, but over time, it's going to be like, all right, now it seems like there's different problems. And it's like, it's like we had problem X before, but now we have problem B now. And it's just kind of like, it's kind of like there's still problems. It's still not balancing out like it should. By incorporating things from the past and really giving them a chance to show their value, again, it's that the most you're going to keep is 50%. At the least, I get like 20%. I feel like we can really stabilize the situation and there can be a lot more joy and happiness with it. If you just kind of go with the like, I, I'm just going to throw it all out and I'm going to start anew, you're going to end up back at lack. And they're saying you don't have to end up back at lack. For some reason I have to bring that. If you incorporate and like really kind of mull through it and like really try to figure out like what worked and why did it hold on to and what did other people think of it, at the most again you'll keep us 50%, at the least 20%. This might also be one of those things where it's kind of like I'm, I'm, I'm researching and finding out what did work and what didn't and then maybe I get rid of some things and then I'm like, you know what, I, let's bring that back and see if that makes a positive difference and then bring things back. So this keeping and letting go of, of from anywhere from 20 to 50% or whatever that was I said, that might be a process over time. Like you don't have to like, well, once it's gone, it's gone. Try to stay away from that. Try to steer away from like once it's gone, it's gone. Don't do that if you can. If you can, if you can resist it, <laughs> if you can, and kind of like move things away, and then like oh, this isn't going. It seemed like it went better before. Kind of like slowly move things back and just see if like does it make a difference? Are we seeing a positive change? What should we keep? What shouldn't we keep? At the most, you're going to keep is fifty percent, but they're saying at least it's going to be twenty. This is the evolution of the situation if it's hitting. So, all right, I think we're good. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.